Johnson joining you as we take a look at your weather for today on this Thursday, November 9th. As we go into the midday hours, we do have some snow and areas of tricky travel up there. We're going to start right away with a quick peek at the radar, and here's what you need to know with regard to that radar. We are seeing bands of precipitation and light snow working their way up through the uh, northwest corner of Minnesota. This is where we expected stuff, and a little nonsense dashing around the Southern Valley as well, what we see here chance for some of that to be making its way down to the ground. I will point out that our in uh, North Dakota and Minnesota DOT sites are showing some of this content uh, making its way down to the ground and causing some slippery situations for travelers along with winds that are still very gusty as well. It'll be difficult to stay on area roads and so we want you to slow down. I can show you a look at Northwest Minnesota Road conditions here are shown in blue. The blue roads are good ones, but when we look at, for instance, near War Road, what conditions are happening there, we do see that there is some snow, some reduced visibility, and some areas of icing roads. Now, as we take a look at another camera here near Carlstad, we see some flakes as well, causing a little buildup on the road surfaces there. So take it slow today. Not much is going to change. I want to take a moment and just highlight the forecast uh, information that you need to know about heading into the uh, afternoon and evening on this day. First and foremost, I expect that we will see conditions throughout the day continue to be windy. It should start its decrease in the afternoon hours. Still, so still breezy over 20 miles per hour in northwest Minnesota with a few gusts higher than that with periods of snow passing through the region. So that's what that's going to look like. Right here, northwest Minnesota, along toward the Highway 2 corridor, will bring the best chance at seeing a little bit of flaky material. Then the system finally exits as we head into the late day hours. And then, how much snow? Well, it's going to be some windblown snow. Totals may not look like this much because it is melting on area roads, but one to three inches, I expect, from the northern Red River Valley into northwest Minnesota, and that's the forecast. That's what you need to know for today. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. It's been a pleasure having you. I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to YouTube, and from there, consider following my page. Search Hutch's Weather. Love to have you follow me there. We'll keep you updated right here. Have a wonderful day, and be safe.